Hello. So we are given that the, the voltage of this circuit at time t is 120 minus 120e to the kt. We don't know what k is. And we are told that v at time t equals 0.5 is 66.1 volts. So for part A, uh, so in order to do part B, which is the actual problem, we have to figure out what k is. So we have to use this information that V of 0.5, which is 120 minus 120 times E to the K times 0.5. I'm sorry, these little decimals are so small. They just are equals 66.1. So we plug in 0.5 for T and we solve this equation for K. So this really isn't a calculus problem. It's just, it's more algebra. Um, okay, so let's do it. Maybe you know how to solve that equation. Uh, either way, here we go. We're going to subtract 120 from both sides. So we have negative 120e to the, uh, I'm going to rewrite that as 0.5k because it looks nicer. Equals, you're going to want to have your calculator out for this one for sure because we're going to need to do logarithms and stuff. Uh, also, if there's a little Chrome pop-up window that's blocking my face, I'm sorry, that is an error with Wyzant. I have put in a support request, but it shouldn't really affect what we do here, but I apologize. If there's not, then never mind. Um, so we have that equals, okay, 66.1 minus 120 is negative 53.9. And we just continue like that. Now let's see, we have e to the 0.5k is negative 53.9. We have to divide both sides by negative 120. And uh, that equals 0.449. So we have e to the, e to the 0.5k is 0.4. Four, nine. You're going to want to do as much of this in your calculator as you can because then you won't have a rounded answer and your final answer will be as accurate as possible. Okay, so here's where a logarithm comes in. And your, you, your teacher may have explained this in a couple different ways, but the way I do it with my students is I just say, okay, the fact that e to the something equals 0.449, you can just straight up rewrite that as a logarithm. And the base of the logarithm is going to be the same as the base of the exponential. So it's going to be base e. Now, maybe you know that a logarithm base e is called a natural logarithm. Great. Uh, either way, I'm going to write it out like that. So this is the exponent. So uh, this, the equivalent to this statement is that 0.5k is the natural log. I'm sorry, I'm going to write it out like the log base e this first time just because, you know, I don't know where you're at with all this stuff. So this means the same thing as that. This means that the power you would have to raise e to in order to get 0.449 is 0.5k, which is exactly what the statement above it says. So if you're not cool with that, uh, this statement and this statement are exactly equivalent to each other. And that's the way, like I said, that's the way I kind of teach logs. It's just to rewrite it as an equivalent logarithmic statement. Okay, so if that's clear to you, uh, good. So again, the log base E is special because it just pops up a lot. So it gets its own name. It's called the natural log. And you have a natural log button on your calculator. So just keep, uh, you know, just keep solving. So now we have to say, okay, K is, we could punch that LN into your calculator now, but I prefer to do it all at once, once again, just for maximum accuracy. So K is natural log of 0.449 over 0.5. Okay, so punch all that into your calculator and we get that. So natural log of 0.449 is negative, which means that this is negative. So we get K is negative 1.6. Okay. So that's really just the first part. So we used all of our, um, our like given this is called like an initial condition to actually fill in what V of T actually is. So K is negative 1.6. So now we can do, uh, we can finish the question that says, when will V of T be 100 volts? So let's do it. So we have our equation becomes V of T equals 120. Let me get this here. 120 minus 120 times e to the negative 1.6 t. All right, and we want to know when that'll equal 100. So our equation is 120 minus 120 times e to the negative 1.6 t, and we are asked when that will when that voltage will equal 100. When we say when, that generally means we are solving for t. And that's the only variable in this now. We don't have a choice. We have to solve for t because we know what k is. Okay, so this is the point in the video where as a teacher, I'm gonna tell you to stop the video and just solve this for yourself. 
Now, if you do that, you can come back and make sure we got the same answer. But it's really going to go down exactly like the, the last part did. Really, all the moves are going to be exactly the same. You'll see when you do it. You're going to subtract something. You're going to divide something. You're going to switch to a log. And then you're going to divide by something again. Okay? So I'm going to finish the problem for you. But I'm encouraging you right now to just pause the video and try and solve this yourself. I think you can do it. Okay? Three, two, one, pause. Now here I go solving it anyways. Okay. So subtract 120 from both sides. We have negative... Sorry, negative 120e to the negative 1.6t equals 100 minus 120. I think we don't need a calculator for that. It's negative 20. And then, okay, we divide both sides by negative 120. We have e to the negative 1.6t is, okay, 20 over, negative 20 over uh, negative 120 is the same as 1 sixth, which is 0 0.16 repeating. So I will write it as 0.16 repeating. Again, if you can, from here, you could probably finish the whole problem in your calculator without showing any algebra. Now, on a test or something, your teacher might need you to show the algebra. But I'm kind of encouraging you to try to do that because then your answer will be spot on. Okay. So anyways, uh, now we do see exactly what we did before. Switch this to an equivalent logarithmic statement. So the equivalent logarithmic statement is negative 1.6t is... Uh, the natural log of 0.16 repeating. You could write that 0.16 repeating just as 1 sixth. That might actually be simpler for you. I don't know. So now we just have t is whatever the natural log of 0.16 repeating is. You can use the ants key a lot on your calculator, which is down by the minus sign. It's the second of that um, to call your previous answer. So ln of 0.16 repeating over negative 1.6 which is 1.12 seconds. So that's good that that answer is positive. Let's put units. T was in seconds. It wouldn't make any sense for it to be negative. And it should kind of jive with what we said before. So after half a second, we're at 66.1 volts. And this is saying that after 1.12 seconds, it's then gone up to 100 volts. So that kind of makes sense, right? If, if this answer was too big, if it was negative or something, we might think mm, we made a little error in there. So the only way to really check that is to stick uh, 1.12 back in here for T and be sure that you get an answer that's pretty close to 100. Okay, so again, if there's a little pop-up blocking my face, I'm sorry, I, I can't figure out how to fix it. Okay, there's your answer.